Hello there, my name is Ismael. So today I want to show you how to make flowing water in Blender. Uh, this is what we're going to be making. Let's see how the water is flowing nicely. I use this for this uh, scene here. Let's, uh, let's get that. You can see, I think it adds some nice details to the scene and makes it even more interesting. If you want to see how, how I made this scene here, you can go to my second channel, Top Channel 101, and watch other time lapse to, to that. Uh, there, uh, but so uh, yeah, let's dive in and uh, make let's see, uh, make uh, the yeah, make the water. So, uh, to make the water, you just need a plane. Uh, let's get this, you just need a plane and then a principal a shader. All you have to do is add a noise modifier and a noise texture. So, texture, noise. And now we are going to feed this into uh, the bump map directly there so that it can displace our, our water to have something like that. And uh, so you would just scale. Let me just create a new shader here, principal shader. Let's preview this. I'm using Ctrl Shift T to preview that. Maybe let me turn on my screen key so that you can see them here. Uh, so you just connect this to the bump and uh, then the bump node to the normal input we don't need this in the base color now you don't really see much going on uh, that's because uh, the plane is white uh, so if we change it to something dark you can see what we have uh, another issue we're having is that uh, the reflections are too rough so we can make them like that be a bit sharper like that now it's not animated so all you have to do to animate this you can select the node you hit ctrl t to bring up the coordinate mapping our nodes and uh, then you can animate the x-axis or the y-axis and uh, have this water move uh, but if you want to have the ripples also move you also want to add in some uh, z animation so you just select the node i uh, select a keyframe set a keyframe and then a start keyframe and then and then an end keyframe then you can play back to judge at the speed of your animation consider this is very very uh not fast enough so you can also just tab in use control tab to tab into edit mode and to the curve editor and then you can find uh, the nodes there if you select the object but you don't see the keyframes i uh, make sure to select the node uh, that has the keyframes uh, on so see if I select if I select a different node I won't access the keyframes uh, for that node so that's why you see that I have that there now you can just move this along the Z axis to kind of make it make the waves a bit faster or you can also you can see there is this gradual it's a slow start and then speeding up we don't want that so just select everything and then hit V change this to vector so that we have a more linear interpolation where everything is constant the speed is constant and I can make this faster by just dragging the z up again now that's a, a good speed what we what we are lacking now is the y movement so let's do that we already have a keyframe here so let's go to the last keyframe you can use a u up and down arrow to navigate between keyframes so for this, let's see, try, let's try one meter, one, make sure to hit I to insert that keyframe as well. Now you can see that our water is flowing. It seems to be a bit faster, so I can just uh, find the Z, the Y value. You can also hit Shift H to isolate uh, the, this value there the keyframes for that value property and now we can slow this down a bit so we have something like that so yeah that's how you make water flowing water using EV and uh, this will also render nicely in cycles as well if you want that and uh, this is uh, the final results my waves were a bit uh, smaller but uh, it's the same concept uh, to make the waves smaller you just reduce uh, the scale value of the noise modif noise uh, texture and again this is uh, 
what we have. Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.